again, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now today, the resin project we're going to be tackling today is going to be a bunch of different colorful rings with fun colorful wire inserts. I'm super excited to try out these new ring molds, so let's get started, you guys. First, protect those hands with some disposable gloves. Get a mixing container with measure, our key ingredients. We're doing some colorful rings, so of course some mica powder. Something disposable to stir with. Our new ring molds with the fun, colorful wire inserts. Here's one of those bad boys up close, just so you guys have some sort of idea on what's going on inside that ring. And of course, we cannot forget our ever important torch. Grab your hardener and pour one part into your mixing container. And don't forget to give your bottles a quick wipe to keep them clean. Grab your resin this time and pour one equal part into the same mixing container. Grab that three minute timer and hit start you guys. If it'll let you. Now it's time to mix the resin and the hardener together. Now do this very slowly just so we avoid any extra bubbles. Alright, now take your mixture and pour just a little bit into a different container so we can add some color. Now grab a color of Mika powder of your choice and add just a little bit into the container. Then just gently mix it together. Now since these ring molds are just so small, I'm using an itty bitty kind of turkey baster to take some of the resin and put it into the molds. Now I'm only putting resin halfway into the mold because we're just gonna throw some clear resin in the rest of the mold just to give it a little bit of contrast. At this point, I just have a little bit of clear resin in my little turkey baster and we're filling up the rest of the mold. Now simply just repeat the process with your other molds. We did it you guys, we finally made it to the deep bubbling phase. Now just lightly debubble these and then let them set for 72 hours and we can finally see how these guys will turn out. All right, you guys, it is finally the reveal day. I am super duper excited to check these out because I have not used these ring molds yet. So let's go on this discovery together, you guys. All right, so I have the ring molds here. I'm just gonna pop them out and show ya. All right, you guys, so they are out and I'll show you them one by one. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna show each of them up close to give them each their own little moment of fame. Here is the red one. I think that looks super cute. Look, you can totally see that little wire insert. It's like perfectly suspended, you guys. That one turned out awesome. All right, so this is the pink and green one. Oh my God, it turned out so cute. You can kind of see the pink one in there if you look closely and then it just turns to green and then you see it there. Oh, that one turned out cute too. Oh man, okay, so. This being my channel of 
course there are some ups. The most annoying thing is this one was probably gonna be my favorite if it didn't up. As you can see, there is, of course, a giant bubble. That's just my new brand now. Just giant bubbles, I guess. But the rest of it looks so cool. It fades so perfectly right there from clear to the color. That's a little bit of a bummer. That one was gonna be super cute. Ooh, this one's cool. This is the blue. I think this one looks super cool. It's like almost like a little wave. Like I didn't even mean to do that, but that kind of looks like a little wave, doesn't it? I love that. Yeah, and blue around the back and then it fades and you see the little wire. That one turned out super cute too. So here is the little yellow one. You can see there, there's a little bit of the wire. This one, you don't see too much of the wire, which is kind of a bummer, but it still looks really good. Like that gold kind of ring looks super cool. And then you do see a little bit of the wire there. So that one's not my favorite, but... He's still trying, he's doing his best. And last but not least, this is the clear one I did, so you can completely see the wire insert in this one, and I think it looks pretty rad. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. All right, you guys, so here's what they look like on. So these are all different sizes, so I can put them on all of my different fingers, which is awesome because I love wearing a ton of rings, as most of my subscribers probably have noticed that I wear rings in pretty much every video. But here they are, like, look at that. And you can twist it, like, what do you want today? Do you want to show the wire mostly? Sure. Do you want to show, I don't know, the pink mostly? Sure, do it. Live your best life. Do you want to do a half and half? Get bold. You can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. But yeah, they look so good. I really like the blue one. I think the blue one is the freaking coolest one. It's like a little ocean on your hand. So I'm just gonna put a top coat on these guys, bring the shine up a little bit, and really accentuate the gorgeous colors and that wire insert in there. So please don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. It really helps me out huge to know that you guys are enjoying the channel and you wanna come back for more. I'm gonna be coming out with so much more stuff every single Monday and you're not going to wanna miss it. So please don't forget to do that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to check out my last week's video, which were some really cool Polaroid earrings, you guys. So go check that one out. It will be at the end of this video for you to click if you're interested. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun using those new ring molds and I think they turned out pretty kicking. But I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day and I will see you guys next time for some fun resin projects.